All right, in this video, we're gonna go over a, a brief overview of what the low cut is. Um, in a nutshell, the, the low cut allows you to, it's, it's an extension of the equalizer that allows you to uh, you know, remove low frequency information. It might also be called on some consoles a high pass because it, it's only allowing the high frequencies to pass through uh, the filter. And a filter is anything that removes sound. So this is a low cut filter and why you might want to use this is, uh, let's say the singer sings uh, words that have, you know, maybe they start with a B or a P, those are called plosives. And basically it'll sound like a, like a really, really quick gust of wind uh, going through the microphone. So it'll go Phew. And uh, that's not exactly what we're looking for. We don't want to enhance something that is, it might be a characteristic of the sound, but it doesn't enhance what is being sung. So I'll show you how to get to that. You can go to the view on this and that'll change the screen right to the configuration of the channel that you're selected on. And this one is the yellow microphone. And I will actually just play that right now. And if you want to see You can tell the low cut is not active because it is not lit up. If I do activate it, it'll light up and that'll let you know that it is, it is active. Another way you can view this is by going to the equalizer, uh, which is this box right here, and selecting view. And now you can see that this big old orange spot signifies that the, e or the uh, low cut is active. So if I turn it off, which you can also do right here, so there are two ways to activate the low cut. Uh, one is the leftmost knob on the uh, you know, rotary encoders right here. And there's also the button over here in the configuration section. I'm gonna leave that on, but I'm gonna roll it back to as low as it goes so we can see what it does. So right now we're at 20 hertz. Uh, right there. And what I'll do is I'll turn this on. Um, yours is the glory, yours is the name above, amen. So if you saw that really, really abruptly, uh, when she said above, the B sound, the B, came through and there's a lot of kind of information down here that if it were not there, it would actually you know, help clear up some of the sound in that vocal channel. So I'll see if I can go back there and get that one line again. And there's the same thing when she said powerful. Uh, there's a lot of information down here. So we don't necessarily want that P sound. So what we'll do is we will roll that low cut up. See if we can get that again. Yours is the kingdom. Yours is the glory. Yours is the name above all names. And if you ever have any questions what something does, it doesn't always it doesn't hurt to just raise it until you notice what it does. So right now it sounds like she's singing from a radio. But I'll roll that back down to where it was. So basically, um, the low cut is used to 
cut out information in the low end of the signal that might not be enhancing the signal or might not be enhancing the sound, um, but rather you know distracting like that that p and b sound that were coming through on the low end of the vocals, uh, and that's a very very easy fix. Um, on every, any channel except for the bass guitar and drums or maybe a piano, I will always have the low cut active. Uh, and that just, you know, it, cl it cleans up the, uh, the low frequencies. That way uh, it, the drums and the bass and all that stuff, they're not fighting, say, an acoustic guitar for that space down here in the frequency spectrum. So it's always good to keep that open just for those primary low frequency instruments. And that's how you use the low cut.